have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing hearts and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask our Lord's pardon and mercy to take part in this Holy Eucharist. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, to have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills Hear you, your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? Or how have I wearied you, answer me? For I brought you up from the land of Egypt. From the place of slavery, I released you. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God most high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with the thousands of rams, with myriads of streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have been told, O oh man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you. Not only do the right and to love goodness and to walk humbly, with your God. The word of the Lord. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifice do I rebuke you. For your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your folds. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? 
to the upright, I will show the saving power of God. When do you do this thing, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I co will correct by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him, what does the right way I will show the salvation of God? To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, Harden not your hearts. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Yona. And there is something greater than Yona here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. This is the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Pharisees and scribes, during their time, there were so many false prophets and false people, those who are leading, misleading the people. But now, when Jesus came, when Jesus does so many miracles and so many wonders, it was difficult for them and for their authority. They started questioning him and they expected a sign from him. But Jesus says, what kind of sign do you need? Nothing is given except the sign of Yona. Yes, Jesus has done great things. He had cured many things, many people, lepers, paralytic, and he cast out so many demons and he cured many, many of that sort. And even finally, Jesus raised from the dead. So by seeing all these, they should have believed him. They should have accepted Jesus as a prophet or a, a son of God. But these people still rejected him and rejected his message. So now Jesus says, nothing, no more sign is given except that sign. The Son of Man 
will be like that. So therefore, if you have faith, you believe and accept. If not, God will take care of it. So therefore, my brothers and sisters today, as Jesus is telling each and every one of us, whatever we have the source, whatever we are given in the Bible, we need to believe it. We need to accept it. We need to understand that what Jesus is. So today, let us ask Jesus during this Holy Mass for great grace that we may believe and accept him in our day-to-day -day life and proclaim him to everyone. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we now offer our petitions to the Father, confident in His loving response. For all the members of the church, may the Lord strengthen and protect us, His servants. Let us pray to the Lord. For all people, may God look graciously upon them and lead them to the peace that only he can give. Let us pray to the Lord. For the elimination of every disease and affliction, let us pray to the Lord. For this community gathered in prayer, may the manifestation of God's kingdom in our midst help us lead holy and faithful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, may they rest in peace and rejoice in the presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For the special intentions of Father Juan de Mesa and Godin Calieja, for which this int is intentions for this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. The prayers we have offered today we pray through Christ our Lord
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> o God, who in the per one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord his death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, o Lord, <clears throat> and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, our church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Hosea Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, <clears throat> Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, by this meaning of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, gives us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not be in the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
let us pray <coughs> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace of Christ and glorify the Lord by your life. Have a wonderful day.